Hello, kumusta po kayong lahat? My name is Anne Arwiza, one of Colonel Arturo Arwiza's children. I'm so happy to let you know that my dad's book is finally available for purchase. His book was first published in December 1991. It was the first book that talked about the harrowing four days at Malacanang in February 1986, the Edsa Revolution from an insider's point of view, and the first book that revealed the true medical condition and illnesses the president suffered from. It is the only book written by a military officer who served his country with honor and integrity and true to his oath to protect the president, the rightful president, Ferdinand E. Marcos. The idea of writing President Ferdinand Marcos' story was first suggested to my dad in 1989, shortly after the president entered St. Francis Medical Center for the last time on January 15, 1989. It took my dad almost two years to write the book. When his book was first published in December 1991, only a limited number and a scarce supply were printed and sold due to the political climate. May mga nagtatanong, bakit after 31 years ngayon lang ito ini-republish? Matagal nang nagsasabi sa akin ang sister ko, si Atelin, na maraming nagtatanong kung mayroon pang libro ang dad namin na mabibili kasi gusto nilang malaman kung ano talaga ang nangyari sa mahal nating Pangulo. Bakit after 31 years ngayon lang namin ito ini-republish? Hindi po kasi madaling gawin ito. It took almost a year of preparation, from finding reputable IP lawyers to protect her father's book, to looking for trustworthy people who could help with the layout, design, editing, printing, etc. A year ago, I started a YouTube channel for everyone, especially Filipinos, to learn more about my dad. I decided to release the interviews of Sir Bongbong, the former First Lady Imelda Marcos, Mrs. Irene, and my dad when they were in exile in Hawaii because I felt it was the right time to release those videos for Filipinos to learn the truth about what happened to the Marcoses. Lastly, I would like to answer this question that so many people asked. Bakit ngayon lang ito inilabas? Bakit itinago ng higit na 30 years ang mga videos? Marami pong dahilan kung bakit last year ko lang naisipan ilabas lahat ng mga videos at gumawa ng mga videos galing sa collection ng daddy ko. The main reason why I waited so long to make the videos and release the videos of the interviews of the Marcoses and of my dad in Honolulu is because I'm very sentimental and emotional. It took me a long time to get over the death of my father. I just wanted to hold on to the lovely memories I had with my dad and not revisit what happened to our lives because of my dad's job. You see, he spent 21 years with the president, but he was only fully present with us, his family, for nine years since he died of cancer in 1998 at the age of 56. As I got older and more mature, I realized that it was my dad's duty as a military officer to protect the country, and it was his oath to protect the president. He performed his duties impeccably and lived his life with incomparable integrity. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Binabasa namin ang lahat ng mga comments ninyo sa YouTube at sa Facebook. It's time to learn the truth from a credible source and from someone who stood by President Ferdinand E. Marcos until he took his last breath. Whether you're a Marcos loyalist or not, you should purchase Colonel Arturo Arwiza's book. Ferdinand E. Marcos, Malacanang Tumakiki, is only available through his daughters, Linny and Anne Arwiza. This is a historical book like no other. To purchase, 
do send us an email at bjenarwiza at gmail.com or you can find us on Facebook, Arwiza Fam. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.